Today we're going to do an illustration project about compound words. And you probably know what compound words are. They're two words that are put together to make a new word. So we know what butter is, we know what a fly is, but when you put it together it's a very different thing than their two parts. The same thing for horseshoe, jellyfish, rainbow, and football. All of these are compound words and there are hundreds if not thousands of other ones that are out there. So this is just a beginning point for you. So the idea is for an art project to illustrate the word in the way that it's not meant. And that makes it a lot more fun. It's almost like a parody. So I'm going to show you some student examples of this. Can you guess what this one is? It's a queen bee. So we have the hive, the bees, and it's illustrated in a way to show the unusual meaning of this compound word. But there's something else that the student did that's very successful in this image and I ask all my students to include when we do illustration work. And that is to include a foreground, middle ground, background, and overlap. Foreground is stuff in the front. So if this was a window into another world, the foreground elements are things that you could reach through the window and touch. Middle ground are things that you would have to go through the window and take a step or two to reach. So that might be the bees and part of the road. And then background is the thing that gives us that sense of space and depth that adds some visual drama to the work. So for this, it's the mountains in the background and how the road goes way off into the distance. Foreground, middle ground, and background. And then we do have some overlap happening in the image. So again, that adds to the illusion of depth. How about this one? What do you think is the word? How about fruit punch? So we've got foreground. This is the glove of the person who is in front of the banana. Middle ground is the banana and background are the ropes of the ring. This could have been improved a little bit by having maybe some people in the background, maybe little pieces of fruit that are watching the boxing match. So fruit punch. How about this one? Corn dog. So foreground is the hand holding the corn dog. Middle ground is our picnic table. Background is the people playing out on the court and maybe even the sun and clouds. How about this one? What's the compound word? Maybe it's groundhog. So they look like little uh, mounds of ground with pig noses. So that gives us our groundhog word. Foreground is the car, middle ground is the river, and background is the hills and mountains. How about this one? Jailbird. So it's a jail in the shape of a bird. Foreground is the police car, middle ground is the jailbird, and background is suggested by the city. This is a very clever one. Let's see if you can figure out that one. This is toadstool. So it's a stool in the shape of a toad. Now, foreground is a little bit more challenging for this bun, so we're going to say it's probably the toadstool itself. It would have been interesting if maybe the student had a little bush off to the side, or a little plant, or maybe some of these bugs, one could be up close. So having a little bit more push in the foreground could have even made this excellent art project even better. Middle ground is the reeds, and background in here is probably suggested by the sky and the bugs. But we could have pushed it a little bit further, but this is an excellent example. I love the little texture on the skin of the toad too. So attention to detail is always a good thing. How about this one? A swimming pool stuck inside of a car. Maybe it's carpool. Again, foreground, we've got the little mailbox. Middle ground is the carpool and background is the house and fence. If this was made a little larger, maybe overlapping a little bit more in the car, it could have improved it a little bit. But this is truly awesome. This one is back roads. So if you ever heard of taking the back roads to get where you're going to kind of see the countryside, that's what this one is, the back roads. So again, foreground is the figure, middle ground is maybe the sidewalk, and background is the tree in the house. This one's an easy one to catch, honeybee. The table becomes the foreground, the honey and the coke are the middle ground, 
and the kitchen in the background sort of works. We even have a doorway that leads into a window. So they really pushed that background idea in this one and did a great job. We have garbage man. So a man made out of a garbage can. A tree house, a house that is a tree. Jellyfish, a jar of jelly with a fish tail swimming among his friends. A waterfall, the little water droplets screaming as they're falling. Help me, help me. All right, and the last one is a doggy bag. So we've got a restaurant scene and a, a, a bag that's made out of a dog or a dog that is a bag. So working with compound words can be an awful lot of fun, but push up your game a little bit by making sure you include that idea of foreground, middle ground, background, and overlap, and then you have this idea of pushing space and making your illustrations that much better.